welcome to the Bad Denim Review where we order and try on jeans for you. So you may have noticed I'm about four and a half months pregnant right now. This is my third child, so I've been through the struggles of looking for maternity jeans a few times now. If you want to get a new pair of maternity jeans, the best cheaper options are ASOS, H&M, or The Gap. At the high end of the scale are J Brand, Citizens, and Page. A good middle option might be looking for a second-hand premium pair on eBay. Prices are around £30. I had a closer look at the ASOS own brand maternity jean line. Prices here started about £10 in the sale up to around £30-ish. A lot of the denim and washers are very, very bad, but three pairs caught my eye. The slim straight leg and bright wash, the crop kick flare and vintage mid wash, and the original mom jeans in black. Let's try them on. So the crop kick flare and vintage mid wash is what they call an over the bump style. You get this quite long sort of cotton sleeve to pull up over your bump, which is followed by a very, very tiny fly piece with no zip. I much prefer the other type of construction with an elasticated side panel, as this waistband, low as it is, isn't very forgiving and doesn't stretch at the same rate as the cotton sleeve above. The cotton itself is a cheap stretch jersey, I can't see this holding its shape. I suppose the purpose is like a pair of suspenders to keep the jean up. It's a shame as the denim and wash on this pair are actually alright. I can't forgive these back pockets though, they are ridiculously misplaced too low. The stitching and construction are as to be expected on a 30 pound jean. Let's look at the next pair, the slim straight in bright wash. Here we have the elasticated side panel which function and comfort wise is much much better. The front of it is quite low so it sits neatly beneath the bump. The leg profile is nice, it has a slight stretch, not much, but the fabric is not of a great shade or quality, the wash is pretty streaky. The internal seams have been finished with a loose overlock and thin, weak threads, but again, in line with a 30 pound jean. The twin needle is more narrow than the standard 6mm, which I don't like. Finally, the mom jeans in black. Here is the winner out of the lot. The fabric is a non-stretch and it's nice and meaty. The back pockets have been placed all right. The internals have been finished with felled seams and neatly. Like the jean before, it uses an elasticated side panel to sit beneath your bump. The fit works. I do hate the word mom jean, but what they mean is a looser thigh shape that tapers down to the ankle. The jean is 16 pounds, which to the consumer might seem great, but it raises some red flags for me. As it's ASOS own line, they can offer prices lower than the usual markup between wholesale and retail. But by my calculations, this jean would have cost maybe five or six pounds for the materials and make. So this jean is being turned out very fast and at a high volume. This is the quandary I find for maternity wear as it is by nature temporary clothing. Let me know in the comments what you think. A few tricks you can do to your existing jeans are the hairband through the buttonhole like this. Or you could alter your existing or perhaps some vintage jeans by adding an elastic panel to the side seam. I'll go into more detail on these tips on how to make your current wardrobe work for maternity in another video. We release new videos on Friday, so please subscribe as not to miss any. If you're in the mood, go ahead and click the like button as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on Friday.